Welcome back to River City Live. Will Smith's new film, King Richard, premieres tomorrow worldwide. So a local screening from Black Films Matter expands the experience for those that want to attend. So I have Trey Ford, Carla Michelle, and Shawana Brooks here to tell us about the event. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So Trey, I'm going to let you lay the groundwork because Black, Film Black Films Matter is always about putting out films that, out to the public. King Richard, new film, tell me about it. What in the experience? Definitely. So King Richard embodies Will Smith playing as Venus and Serena's dad right before Venus gets into juniors and goes on, obviously, to win the Wimbledon and clear the way for Serena. So every time we do a film with Black Films Matter, we want to embody the theme as well. So the attire for the film is preppy or tennis gear. And we couldn't do it the way we're doing it without moving the margins because we're actually gonna be on three different floors showcasing some vendors on the bottom floor, the movie will be on the second floor, and the after party on the roof with Mr. Al P. So Okay, I see you. I'm gonna be like Malavi Washington. You remember him? He had the shorts and the big thighs. I think I could fit in. <laughs> I got you. Now Shawana, a lot of people don't know what's going on with moving the margins and you being a part of the Jesse. So explain that a little bit. And you're the host of the event. Yeah, I'm super excited to be the host of the event. And so, you know, this is our, our chance to really like get moving the margins out there in front of the public. We've been in the Jesse Ball DuPont Center since May with two artist exhibitions under our belt. And here's our third flex deficit. So the exhibit is gonna be open while the screening is going on to give people a chance to come in and see this work and where it's really about, you know, capitalism at its best, but about extreme wealth and, and consciousness. So we hope people come in and really take a chance to, to see it and experience it and even come home away something actionable. So you're offering a multi-layer experience, multi-floors. Yeah. And so you get the art, you get the film, and then Carla, you bring in it as well. What do you got? The fashion. I, I love Black Films Matter events because it's not just about watching the movie, it's about the experience and the you know getting dressed beforehand. So I wanted to pay homage to Serena's black cat suit and also um, the way the ladies dress at the premiere, Venus and Serena, as well as the beads. Uh, because growing up, my dad empowered me through teaching me sports as well. And also, uh, they looked like me as a girl. So I, I've always championed them, and I'm a super fan. Now, let's put it in perspective. A lot of people are like, Black Films Matter. Not everybody's invited. That's not the case. Everybody has a chance to come out, bond, learn a little bit, have a conversation. Yeah. And that's a big thing, big proponent of what you guys are about. Absolutely. And, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. So I always thank different collaborators like Carla, as well as our sponsors, the People's Attorney, Grand Rev Financial, and Jones and & Rose, because they make it possible for us to expand the experience and really get the decor right and really have a great time for all people. So you're inviting people, to, the film is at seven, you guys are inviting people there to come at five, doors open. So that's for the vendors and to check out the art exhibition? Yeah, definitely check out the art exhibition. We got artist Tony Rodriguez is who's done the art exhibit and we just want people to be able to see his work as much as we can. And Carla, what's it mean for you to be able to be a part of this? I mean, I know what you said about, you know, being a part of Black Films Matter, but I've seen some of your work beyond that on uh, Instagram and stuff, telling the stories. Black you get history. showcase in Jacksonville in a light that a lot of people don't get to see. I'm glad you mentioned Malavi Washington because <laughs> I definitely want to do a story on him as well. But black history um, is very important. Like you said, it's not just our history, it's history uh, of America in general. And I like spotlighting Jacksonville black history in particular. But And Malavi Washington is actually one of the people that's going to be downstairs giving information and with some information at the Jesse. We've been playing phone tag, so we got to catch up with him because he's got a great uh, uh, center for youth that he's all pre about helping the youth into tennis, education, and everything else. But this is going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So doors open at 5. You come in, shop, check out the art exhibit. They want you in your seats for the film by 645. And then after that, it's the after party. <laughs> they won't be dancing like that. You know, so. <laughs> but if people want tickets, tell them where, it's, where they can get them. They can get them on Eventbrite. It's at kingrichardmovie.eventbrite.com or they can go to our Instagram page at Black Films Matter, all the way spelled out. All right, well, kudos to what you guys do. We're going to talk about the Jesse and moving the margins in the future. And yes. Carla, I see you everywhere. We <laughs> dance. <laughs> all right, we're going to have more River City Live right after this.